guys, Auto Gamers here with another video, and today we are playing Life is Strange Episode 4 Part 1. How are you guys doing today? That is still a horrible question, as Previously you cannot answer that. Let's strange. watch the preview. Well, the previously on Life is Strange you know, section, I could I rather am? say. Uh, no. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Yeah, last episode. Chaos ensued, if you could say that. Um, Let's talk about your superpower. I really hope we what can are you doing here, Max? Stop. change Stop back here, what we did now. last time. I am so glad we saved I know Kate. This isn't pleasant for any of us. That's gonna have gone a whole Please different direction. Tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, so? I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. So you yeah, we awesome. saved her father, and then, well, um... Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. We I know what changed after that. Max you know how upset I got from that. Um, yeah. Chloe, you have a visitor. And how upset Max got. That's that's the thing. Maxine Caulfield is upset, of course. Yes, we know. You don't have to tell us that every single episode. So... We are at the beach, I presume? Oh, this game has such an atmosphere. I keep saying that, but it's just true. It's so amazing. I really hope that when before the storm comes out, they keep the atmosphere that's in this game and they make sure it, it, it's the beautiful atmosphere this game carries just is still translated really well into the other game. Even though the atmosphere is somewhat interconnected with Max, of course, being very into photography. And the story about Chloe and Rachel, of course, isn't tied in with photography as much, so you could say... Maybe it's not as much as a focus point. I'm somewhat worried about that, to be honest. Yeah, life is strange, I can tell you that. And no, this does not, this does not look like a dark room. This looks like a sunset on a beach. But I guess we're going to see what the dark room is soon. I really hope it's not something that's too bad, but knowing how games work, it will be. How nice, they're walking on the beach. All the beach wheels, that's sad. Well, not on the beach. She's like riding the beachside it's pathway. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote. So in this timeline, we did send her letters. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably hmm. easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably 
probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst well, thing you can do is treat me like a baby. She turned out very differently than in the normal timeline, I'd say. Can we stop? How exactly is she this is moving the right best now? View of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. What if These we could? Smiles are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Oh, At that's least, sad. I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Um, talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. Oh, that's sad. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You, you mean... Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. <sighs> it might be. It might be, but... I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Mm -hmm. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> of course she hates the words she uses all the time in a different timeline. Oh boy. Yeah, let's go. It's sad. It's some sad if that happens to people. I, I, I wouldn't even know. I couldn't even imagine what it's like to live that way. If you really start thinking about it, it's, it's just unbelievable. There are people that live the way Chloe in this game. Oh well, well, then this timeline is. If you think about it, that's actually really sad. As you're practically locked up in your own body, not being able to move a muscle and practically everywhere. Oh, it's a pretty high tech layer. It feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, mm -hmm. you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. 
I can't... I could imagine that being quite horrid. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh... <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you... can you bring me some water? Yeah, sure, of course. Let's find some water. Um... Let's see. Yeah, that's water. Wait. That is cool. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. It is. A nice wheelchair as well. That helps at least. Keeps people somewhat mobile. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. They, they must be in financial trouble with that. I'm going to take a quick spin around. Oh, the snow globes. And the snow dough, of course. Oops. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hmm. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Well, she could if she was laid face down, but I don't think that's very comfortable at all. Oh boy, why am I even making jokes right now? That's not supposed to be the case. That's not nice. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a <laughs> Ouch. It was just a thought. Oh boy, I she does sure so have humor. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. <laughs> Seems like it was yeah, yesterday, it seems like yesterday when I saw your face. Yeah, no. <laughs> Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour. <laughs> Even my parents. <laughs> that was so That's nice. Not a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Mm. Which friends? Which I wonder. did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. Yes, you oh. are. Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> are, I'm again. Um, are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. I think so, too. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. That's why I love the Netherlands. Better medical systems. I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe. Of course. You're priceless. <laughs> Really? And now the joke, I'm Chloe Priceless. I think I made that like such a, geek. a bunch of parts ago. Like of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. <laughs> Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Because well, we've seen you with you better blue not hair. You sleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. 
Not yet. Hmm. So we have to find the DVD door. Nothing but medical supplies. It is probably going to be in another space somewhere. Wait, what just happened? Oh, wait. Oh. So cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Okay, no, we just fall. Okay. Uh, probably below the DVD player. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> Other side, search. Ah, here's the DVD. Got you. DVD player. Watch a movie together. It's going to be fun. Hmm. Oh, that looked cozy. That's good. Got some light nice enjoyment. Wakey, wakey, X and bakey. Probably, probably not. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. <laughs> and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? You didn't crash hard. I do like um, <laughs> you, you just crashed really badly. <laughs> not as bad as a car crash probably though. Oh boy. Yesterday was such a blast. That's good to hear. Great. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. That's good. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. It's not like you could really get to it if you're in the same room either. But yeah. Maybe you can speak to William and Joyce a bit. As well. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Okay, that somehow learned us something. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty TV. Oh, we still have a tube television. That's not nice. Car keys. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yep, that is silly. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Yeah, we made that. Look. These whales are just the pre- Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. True. Probably can't. Let's see what we got in the SMS uh, tab, the text tab. Elisa. <laughs> OMG, I was not aiming at you, I swear. It's funny how we save Alyssa from everything in the other timeline, and here it's just like, oh yeah, I wasn't aiming at you. 
So she basically hit us with a projectile. Okay. Yeah, let let oh god, that's cringy. Um, I'm not going to read through all of this, no. No, no, no. Too much time. Hey, William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Some people Good. don't I'd age. I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> Of course, you seem more adult now. Yeah. So what's on your mind? Mm. The Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. <laughs> but it was a great experience. Oh boy. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Yeah, care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. His bills yeah. are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> <laughs> Your I'm humor is as sorry. bad as mine. I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. That was a strange thing to I say to, to him because we are practically going to kill him. Hey, boy. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. It is. It is the last time. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Oh, we got a swear cookie jar. Coupons. Kitchen. Let's see if there's anything on the... No? No, not either? Nothing? No? Okay, let's see. Any rooms I can see? Flyers? A mail? Oh, God. Overdue oh, payments, isn't it? Let's see what changed here. Oh, we can go into Chloe's room. Well, that certainly is a nothing. Oh boy. Looks so eerie if you know what's in there on the normal timeline. Letters and canes. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Oh boy. Toys. Shoes. More letters. I don't want to sit down here. Pie chart. I guess we stopped growing up together. Yeah, that's sad. No. Was it Luke? At least we never had to hide from step douche. That, that yeah, that's just that's just thing. That's that's amazing. Yeah, no. Really. Hey, we have to get the light switch switch on. Can't see darn thing. The shadow here is really annoying. Cabinet search. Here it is. First Never one. I thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Open the other cupboard. I want to see if Bathroom anything looks here. almost the same. Just more medicine. Duh. That, that seems logical. 
Yeah, okay. Let, let's go, let's go. Um, oh, yeah, switch off the light, of course. I forget that in real life so often. Oh, man. Open. Let's see if Joyce is in here. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Letters and stuff. Picture. Hmm. Look at them. They that almost no looks like Juliet and War Warren. That that's scary. Oh, she's pregnant there. Oh, that that's cute. Let, let's talk to Joyce. Let's see if there's anything. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. <laughs> I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. You? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. <laughs> oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Um, a lot of work. Plus, sure, I'll just go through everything. You guys have to work Can't too. Hurt. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Interesting. Because in this timeline he was nice. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Yeah, that, that, uh, yeah, hmm. William! I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William. Sure. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Lol. Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Chloe, inevitable. I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Yeah, oh, no, that's Max. not nice. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Chloe needs help. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble even if she can't move. <laughs> Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh boy! I'm so sorry you have I to... I guess this timeline is catching up with the other timeline. I embrace every moment in that sense. My and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. That was... Intense, I'll say. Let's go down and deliver the morphine. Let's not waste any more time. 
All right, let's go to Chloe. Oh, we can go outside now. Can we? If we can. Is there any photo ops? You don't want to look at the lawn, do I? No. House. Look. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Yeah. This look lovely. Dead birds, of course. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go to Chloe. Um, we should deliver this before we waste any more time here. Chloe, morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Lol. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Oh, this is going to continue being awkward, is it? Worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm <laughs> high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Sure. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So we have to find a photo book now. For crying out loud, why do I have to find everything here? She has here? to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Bracelet. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um... What, what, why? Photo, photo book, photo book. Where shall be the photo book? That's a serious heat lamp. Yep. Photo book. From, oh, take. It's right here. Okay, that's good. Let's go to. Oh, I just opened Despite that. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. That yeah, that, let's go to Chloe. Let's have a flashback. It's photo album first. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. <laughs> Sounds like good memories. Well, I wish I had a lot of good memories like that. I do, but... Oh. Awesome picture. I don't really so speak to the people I anymore that I played with back then as a kid. Babe when we had the chance. There's still time for you. True. That's kind of sad to think about, though. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. Oh. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? 
Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh my goodness, they're not going to ask me to do that right. No, 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 no. No? Oh my god! I don't know! No, I- what? I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, there's gotta be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. I, do, I don't know how to respond to this. What the fuck? Why? In real life I wouldn't because of the consequences. But it's her wish and I feel like she has the right oh, to make that decision. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. You are going to do that. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. I won't. Never. Boy, Never I'm going to sob soon. Christ. See you around. Sooner than you think. Bye, Chloe. It's her decision, not ours. If she wanted that. If she truly wanted that, not from a irrational depression. Yeah. They always say I, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. In this case, I think that's the good guideline. In this case, it wasn't. I'm sorry, William. But let's go save Chloe and travel back again. Because I don't want this to fucking end like this. Because this is horrible. Oh, really? We have to do this again? I already got it. It's, it's simple. Why do people have so much trouble with this? Oh, well. I, I won't question. Someday Doesn't help if I do. I hope the flash oh, newfangled. I keep getting this annoyed with that. Mm, the phone. Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college bond? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Why would you burn up the picture? That doesn't make much sense, does it? It's not like you're gonna go back anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a challenge. 
Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And yeah. When we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Okay. Um, that's heavy. Yeah, that's something I both like and dislike about the game. That's returned. Oh, that's such a sweet photo. Oh, don't do that. That is not the same as I remembered it to be, is it? Yeah, that is. That certainly is. And she's going to be stabby over the cake again. Yep. That's not new. Chloe's car crash. Christ. There's going to be her and someone else at a party. And her sitting outside in the garden is going to become him and Nathan. Or her and Nathan. Sorry. My bad. And that is us bringing a board up to the staircase? Sure. I guess so. So, where are we now? I don't frankly know. I guess we're in Chloe's room? Hey, we're back. That's good. Chloe. You're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. I should probably tell you what happened. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? Yes. I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. I, I was. I'm just spaced out too. I need to Welcome tell you. To world, oh boy. Oh, great. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So basically, all what we just gone through didn't matter. And this, oh, we turn now. Right, can I talk to? Photo. We can take a photo of her, of course. Can I now talk to you? Or. Okay, we can't. Okay. So let's see. Let's examine the board. Oh boy. I, I remember this from the first time we I did this. From my first playthrough of the game. This is the most annoying thing in the whole game. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or <laughs> Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. We indeed do. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. 
Oh, please. Oh, boy. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to nap. Yep. Oh, no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Again? Really? It was here last time. Funny how light doesn't affect the bird, but yeah. Scare. Let, let's open the window. And for, turn off the freaking light! Thank you. Open the window. Let it out. Scare. Fly. Be free. Yay! Let's close the window again. Let's see if this. Can we? Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Sure. Okay. Okay. Let's see who's down here first before we do anything. So I don't want to be busted right now. I don't want to sit down. I... Look. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Yeah, okay. Tab, uh, we got texts from everyone. Oh my goodness. Warren! <sighs> Oh boy, Chloe texted him? Oh my goodness. Okay, Chloe. Okay, not interesting dad. Okay, so he, his parents or Nathan are they're threatening my family. Great. Um. Yeah, let's not talk to her about that. I talk to Justin. Okay, Kate. Good, that's good. And Mom. Yay, I kept Lisa around. That's good. Okay, it's... Oh yeah, Courtney. Hey, girlfriend, let me know when you want to come. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, I, I will. Max I will. the time bandit strikes again. Yeah, okay. Sliding door open. Maybe the bird is here again for another photo. That's exactly the same as last time. But yeah. No, no, okay, fine. Open. Open Sesame Street. <laughs> Garage. Oh my goodness, he's in here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Let's talk to David. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too no. Late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I, I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh.
I tried to help Kate. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. And I got him suspended for what? That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. <laughs> Why say that? Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer. Like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See? I'm an artist too. Interesting. Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. I wonder if he would have told us. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that walker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Use the padlock. Do we have any code? I'm pretty sure it's 7272, but I, that is just from my memory. Please? Shit. Three. Is it three? No? For once I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Let's see if I can speak to... T take the keys. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of this cave. Let's... Rewind that and find a way to get him so, away. No girls allowed. Look at the keys. Ah, oh, the keys to the kingdom. Or at least David's locker. <sighs> okay, we need to try to take them. Excuse me, Matt. Sure. We can talk to him. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave. Sure. I give up William but defend David? Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Lo. Let's see if there's anything we can find anywhere. House, look, bag, nah. Not interesting. Open. Come on, there has to be something for David to do. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? Hmm. Your no, 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 I don't want to do that. Look. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Okay, so I need yep. to... locked from the other side. Okay, so we need to get David out of there, but there's not really any way to get him out of there. That's that's lovely. Um, maybe there's something here. Fuse box. Oh, we can tamper with that. Can't that's good. Can't David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Yeah. Yeah, he totally just saw that, but let's take the keys. Gotcha. Let's now skip back so the fuse box isn't broken. I don't want to leave it broken like that. And I don't want him suspicious of finding the keys either. I don't know what I did there, but... 
Maybe that's our talk with they, but that that's fine. Speak with Sorry, David. Max. I can't talk and work. Sure. Let's hope he doesn't see us if we use the keys. I am the key master. He's going to bust us. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, Let's yes. back out as quick as we can. So we don't score. Back to Chloe now. Want him find out. So we're going to rewind this as well, just to make sure. Yeah, okay, so we have the keys and the book now. Can we give the keys back? Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. Sure. I'll, I'll head upstairs. Maybe the keys come in handy someday. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yep, that's good. Let's go! I'm pretty sure this episode is already pretty long, so... This is definitely Kate's floor. The I'll always freak me out. do these... I hear you. This meetup with Kate, and then I'll close yeah, off this episode, and I'll Kate continue feels. on next time, because otherwise this is so going to get way to too long. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just... Go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. You were, but it's fine. Bored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. It's fine, don't worry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. team exactly. Lives. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Hey boy. That doesn't sound too comfortable. Come on, go in. You're wasting time. Oh, she's smiling again, that's good. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. Exactly. I do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, That's there are good. so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Oh, well, that's kind. Them, One of the <laughs> nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love hmm. your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. Yeah, but they did. I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. 
And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Hmm. <laughs> Not really much to look at, is there? No. Speak. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Yeah, sure. Um, Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Prescott family. Vortex Club. Vortex Club. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. Yep. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Sure. Let's talk about you for a second. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes. <laughs> and you could bring Warren along too. Or Chloe. <laughs> no boys allowed. No, no. boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Sure, I will. Don't worry. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. <laughs> she looks good. Um, her drawings looks good. Sorry, that, oh, that was derpy. Okay, that's it. Let's leave the hospital and close the episode. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Yeah, that's Thank good. God. I'm glad we came to see her. Yeah, Thanks I am too. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. He indeed isn't. Well, um, I'm pretty sure that was it for today. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and I will surely, very surely see you next time. Bye bye! Yeah.